In this video, we will show you how to file a timber yield tax return and harvest report. We protect all the confidential information you provide to us. First, go to our website, cdtfa.ca.gov, and at the top, click on Login. That will take you to the Online Services Login page. You must log in with a username and password. For assistance with creating a username and password, please watch our tutorials online. On the CDTFA Online Services Login page, we will enter our username and password. Then click Login. On the Online Services Profile page, under the Accounts tab, we will click on the Timber Yield hyperlink. This will take us to the Timber Yield account page. Under the Periods tab, click on the return period for which you would like to file. In our example, we will file for the first quarter 2023 period, which is displayed by its return end date of March 31, 2023. Click the File Return hyperlink next to the period for which you are filing. We will start by answering the three questions listed. The first question asks, Would you like to close your account? The second question asks, did you harvest this period? The third question asks, did you harvest Christmas trees this period? If you would like to close your account, you will select yes. If you are not closing your account, then you will select no. For our example, we will select no, since we are not closing your account. If you harvested this period, you would select yes. If not, you would select no. For our example, we did harvest during this period, and we will select Yes. If you harvested Christmas trees this period, you would select Yes. If not, you would select No. For our example, we did not harvest Christmas trees during this period, and we will select No. Click Next. This will take us to the Harvest Report page. To get started, we will click the Add Plan Info hyperlink. Please be advised that you will need to complete this process for each harvest plan or contract number you have listed. A window will pop up and we must enter all the required information to proceed. After doing so, we will click on Species. A second window will pop up and we will click on Add a Record. A third window will pop up and we must complete all required fields for the logging information and the average volume per log calculator in order to proceed. After entering all the information, we will click on Add. We're back to the second pop-up. Click OK. We will then be directed back to the first Harvest Report pop-up window where we will click OK. The information we just entered will populate in the table. We can verify the harvest sale name, the timber value area, and the total volume removed. If you need to delete a harvest plan contract number, click on the red X icon for that record. To edit a harvest plan contract number, click on the pencil and pad icon for that record. To edit a species, click on the Add Edit hyperlink for the corresponding harvest plan contract number. In our example, for this filing period, we did not harvest under contract number 22222, and we'll delete this entry by clicking on the red X icon. A pop-up window will appear to confirm deletion. We will select Yes. In the event that you do not see your harvest plan contract number listed, you may also add one by clicking the Add a Record hyperlink. You will be prompted to enter the appropriate harvest plan contract number information. Be sure to click on the Species hyperlink, which will appear once you have added a new record, to include the species information for the record you wish to add. In this example, we have no additional records to add. We can move forward by clicking Next. This will take us to the Harvest Report Summary page. This page gives you a summary of all the harvest plan contract number records you have included in this return. If you need to make any edits, click on Previous. Otherwise, click Next. For this example, let's save our work. You can do this at any time by clicking the Save Draft button. Enter your password and click OK. 
You will then be directed to a confirmation page. Now that you've saved your draft, let's go back to filing your return. Click the Continue Editing button. Now we are back to your return. Click Next to continue filing. The summary page will provide us with the total harvest value per county and a breakdown of the total amount due. If you have harvested timber and the total harvest value for all harvest plans contract numbers fall below $3,000, you will not have an amount due. However, you will still be required to file the return. Any rates reflected in this example are for illustration purposes only. You can view all the rates on our website. Click Next to continue filing. Enter your required information. Then click Submit. A window will appear to confirm your intent to file electronically and that your return is true, correct, and complete. Please read this information carefully. Enter your password and click OK to submit. This page confirms that you have filed a return. Please take note of your confirmation number and the total amount due. To make an electronic payment, click on the Make a Payment button. To print your Submit a Return, click on the Print Return button. You can also share your feedback by clicking on the Online Services Survey button. Your opinion counts. If you still have questions, please call our Customer Service Center at 1-800-400-7115, California Relay Service at 711.